potentially one of the biggest changes coming to Brawl Stars was just announced. And uh, I'm uploading this a day late, so you probably already know about this, but I just want to give you guys more of a community reaction video. I want to see what people are thinking about this, and I want to see if people are interpreting it incorrectly or if I can find some really valid points out there. I always felt like it was a little flawed. It was less of, oh, should I buy this Brawl Pass? And more of, oh, should I buy this Brawler? Since day one of Chromatics, I did not like the rarity. I thought it was weird. And I knew with the formula that they had, eventually we would have like four times more chromatics than there are any other rarity in the game. So I've always been pushing for chromatics to be removed one way or another. And now it's happening. Anyway, the first post we have here is uh, a bro with the 1 million gems is not going to like this update. <laughs> It's so sad. Dude actually just got 1 million gems and can't even buy a Brawl Pass with it. Not like he really needs it though, because he could still just buy the brawler with the gems. The guy who got 1 million gems literally never has to do anything in this game ever again for progression. They are done. <laughs> it's gonna blow up the whole community. Brawl Pass now for only money. Uh oh. A good comparison to this is actually Fortnite because the entire reason why passes even became a thing in games is because of Fortnite. And if we look at that, once you buy one battle pass in Fortnite, you can actually just afford the next one with the V Bucks that you get from that pass. So Brawl Stars was one of the only other games where you could actually just get the currency back and then buy the next one but now it's seemingly not like that anymore in that aspect i actually think this is a huge nerf but the next post uh is titled for the love of god it doesn't sound too bad just read the whole thing when you have time which we might do today personally i'm all for this just off the fact that chromatics are gone and the pass is being changed hopefully in a good way at the same time I've always bought the pass, whether I could get it with gems that I already have or not. So for me personally, it doesn't really change that much. But for the average free to play player, this is probably like the scariest thing that could happen. It's literally turning into Clash Royale's pass now. But I'm not gonna lie, I was actually expecting this to happen. And uh, credit to Lex for this post. Here's a list of the new rewards that you get with the updated Brawl Passes. So for the free pass, you get these. Paid pass, the normal one, you get this. And for the pass plus, which is just more expensive where you get more stuff, then you get this stuff. So you gotta like add all of this together, basically. It seems like the pass plus gives you the most bling, but not nearly as many power points. And yeah, they're also slapping a bunch of star drops into the free pass, which people were already getting kind of skeptical, but like they're just gonna throw star drops into everything. And uh, this is kind of proving it. So I really, really, really hope they stop with this because eventually it'll probably become a little bit boring to open them. Thoughts on the removal of chromatic? Yeah, I want to see some comments on this. I think that the idea of Brawl Pass exclusive brawlers was a bit awkward and having to wait two to four months to unlock them was unfortunate so i like it in this regard on the other hand it feels like some old brawl passes just became way more valuable than others because like season 19 cordelius is now legendary so yeah technically that one was way more valuable than like season 18 where it was Maisie who's turning into an epic so for some people who decided to get certain brawlers with their free-to-play gems they technically just lost out on a lot for choosing one over the other if they got unlucky. With the release of Charlie, Chromatics fill up almost a third of the Brawler roster, which is getting out of hand. I have been saying this for so long that it would become a problem, and this is exactly why I'm happy that they're doing something about Chromatic as a rarity. I knew from the start it wouldn't last because there's just no way that it could. And when they split Brawlers from like the normal Star Road to the Chromatic Star Road, that confused me, but it also kind of confirmed to me that they weren't gonna keep chromatics because it was so weird that they even had to separate them like that chromatic rarity was doomed from the start adding more chromatics than any other rarity would lead to an imbalance exactly yeah that was my whole problem let's take a look at twitter real quick before we look at the actual post inside of the game i want to see some reactions here because this is where most people found out about this happening right away lex says this makes it harder for my free to play account challenge accepted We'll see if it actually does make it harder or not. Spen says, finally, some good changes to the Brawl Pass. It's good and bad. Like, it's better for some players and worse for others. And I'm just afraid that some players are going to be pissed just because they can't buy the Brawl Pass with their gems, which is a big deal. But we'll see if Brawl Stars makes up for it, because they're usually good at making up for things that people are upset about. Please don't mess this up. <laughs> yeah, it, that would be really bad if they messed this thing up. Honestly, from what I've heard, buff for free-to-play side of the Brawl Pass, more options for spenders, therefore having 
it feels way more rewarding. Star drops as tail rewards, so you get star drops at the end of the pass. Though it feels sad that no more free to play brawl passes. Yeah, that is like the one thing that is like bad about this. But everything else seems really good. I'm so sorry, but this ain't it. <laughs> yep, it's the thing where you can't get it free to play. I see a lot of people just saying, oh, looks like I can never buy a brawl pass ever again. The only thing I can say about that is hopefully the free to play buffs are enough to make up for what we lost here. Huge L by brawl. Making the brawl pass completely pay to win is the worst decision ever. I I don't know if it's the worst decision ever yeah like i said some people are gonna be really mad about this and the people who are mad are gonna be the most vocal about it look at this <laughs> brawl stars cooking up a w update as always i don't even think it's like that bad of a thing it's just some people see that one negative thing about it and then they're just gonna freak out at the same time those are certain players who will never be able to get the new pass that's even coming so it makes sense that they would be really upset about this man i don't know how to feel i am so like on the fence about this but all right that's enough of a community reaction for now i feel like i saw what i needed to see so i want to take a look at what's actually coming here i'm just going to point out like the most important things here and apparently this post has a lot of info the new pass is one month instead of two months long so basically we'll have to spend more money on it more often <laughs> this is probably making it similar to clash of clans and clash royale quests are changing up a little bit we can just skip through that and here it says the tail rewards of the pass will be replaced with star drops so we said that before but here it's confirmed but there's got to be a nerf somewhere right oh Oh, here it is. Yes, if you are a free-to-play player who gets a Brawl Pass for free every other season, you will be earning less bling. But of course, value-wise, you'll be earning more cosmetics through star drops. Yeah, star drops are super RNG, so I don't know how to feel about that. Power League after its rework should still be the main place for bling. In summary, free-to-play players will see a small buff to their progression and will be able to use their gems for other things like cosmetics, progression, offers, etc. I see this as a W. You can use your gems on other things for the first time ever. The price is changing from 169 gems or $10 to the $7 offer or a $10 offer, which has more. I feel like this is the one thing that people are bringing up as like the biggest negative for this changes to chromatics goodbye chromatics goodbye rarity bye bye i i never liked it pearl mandy Maisie, sam lola ash bell gale and colette are gonna be epic and then for mythic it's gonna be lou ruffs buzz fang janet otis rt charlie eve and buster that is a lot of mythics there's only a couple i don't really agree with i would put sam up a little bit and then i would put otis down to epic like otis is so basic also put buster down to epic i don't feel like he's very mythic worthy and if i could then i would have bell as a super rare i don't see her being much of an epic we're still planning to release 10 to 12 brawlers every year all right. Even though the new Brawl Pass seasons will be monthly, we'll still release our updates every two months. So we'll be getting two Brawl Passes in one update. Since chromatic rarity will no longer exist, brawlers will be released with different rarities. Rare, super rare, epic, mythic, and legendary. And if they are not part of the pass, they will be able to be collected on the release dates with credits. So wait, they still can be on the pass. Because it says, and if they are not part of the pass. This could be a bad thing, honestly. We'll most likely have early accesses for brawlers outside of the brawl pass. Okay. This is one of the negatives that I'm seeing here. One of my favorite things about this is that brawlers will not be tied to the pass, but now it seems like that's still going to be a thing. They're just not going to be chromatic. So does that mean that certain brawl passes will just be way more valuable than other ones? All right. All right. Just got to roll with it. I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know. Brawl pass season changed to be one month. Brawl pass no longer for gems. It costs $7 and there's a premium for 10 for more rewards. Free to play players who buy three passes a year should get their progression buffed. Bling got nerfed in the free track but gems got mildly buffed, so you get a little bit more gems. The Brawl Pass value is now buffed from 13 times value to 20 times value or 25 times value with the Brawl Pass Plus. I really am curious how they calculate that. Chromatic Brawlers and Chromatic Coins is going to be removed. Chromatic Brawlers were distributed among the existing rarities in the game. A lot of star drops in the new Brawl Pass, including a guaranteed legendary per month. Tail rewards will also change to star drops. These rewards will come into effect starting January 2024. Thanks for reading. Baba Booey. All right, that's a lot to take in. I think there are a lot of positives here, and there are two big negatives that I've already mentioned a million times. No pass for gems, brawlers still being tied to the pass, potentially. It did say that you could just get them with credits if you don't get them from the pass, but like, is there a weight on that? Like, do people who get the pass just get them early? Because if brawlers are just locked to the pass for a while, 
people are gonna be mad. I just hope this isn't a mistake, because if it is, it could be another gear situation where the game straight up just dies. And uh, I, I can't have that in my life, all right? I need Brawl Stars to do good, all right? So Brawl Stars, please, please make good decisions. Hopefully this is one of them. And if you enjoyed today's video, then you should subscribe because we're almost at 500,000. Goodbye.